All right, boxers, we are really excited to show you the brand new Build Box 3. In this video, we're going to take a look at just how easy it is to make your own 3D video games with Build Box. Here's a cool example of a 3D room, and let's say you wanted to just add another room to the scene. It's so easy. It's as simple as grabbing a couple of these objects and copying them and then just sliding them over, and then you've got yourself another room. And if you kind of wanted to switch up the feel of this room, you could take one wall and switch it out for another wall. And you can take some of the objects from the other room and throw them in this room as well. And you can take as many objects and 3D models as you want, throw them into BuildBox, and you can use them to make things look just the way you want. Now let me show you just how easy it is to bring brand new objects and 3D models into BuildBox. You just go to your folder and drag the OBJ file that you want into BuildBox. It'll create a nice mesh for you and then all you have to do is choose the right texture and then you can manipulate the object however you like in BuildBox and get it looking just the way you want. And let's say you want to take some of these objects and use it in an entirely different game. Exporting objects and exporting assets with BuildBox is extremely easy. You just right click the object and you click export asset. Manipulating and using light sources in BuildBox is also a fantastic feature that has been recently added. Take this light source for instance. We can take it and hover it over where the character should be and we can take the light source and group it with the character so that the light source moves along with the character. So when we see the character moving around in the scene we also see the light source moving with him and it's a really great effect. And as many of you know, a lot of the magic that happens in BuildBox actually happens in the node maps of the different objects. All you have to do is double click on one of the objects and you can take a look at the object's node map. And over here on the left, you can scroll through and see that we have over 60 nodes for you to choose from and to use for your games. Here at BuildBox, we are always trying to make the game development process as easy as possible for you. And you can expect that we are going to continue to make the software better and better, and we're gonna be making tons of more nodes like this for you to use so your game development process is nice and smooth. We also still have tons of shapes and assets in the asset library, and you can take these shapes and you can group them together to make more complicated, even cooler, more abstract shapes. And we also have a lot of pre-made assets for you that you can use that already have a lot built into them. And they're really, really handy for your games. You just click on them, and if you wanna see how they behave, you take a look at the video over here in the right-hand corner, and you can see if it's gonna be a good fit for your game. So now let me show you just how easy it is to incorporate these smart assets into your scene and into your game. Let's say I want to add a door here and add a key to unlock it. I'll just go over here to my asset library. I'll double click on door scale and door key and then I will throw those into my scene. Once you drop them in, it's just a matter of repositioning them, resizing things a little bit, and getting them just where you want and then you go ahead and press the play button and it works perfectly. And it really is just that easy with BuildBox. Thank you, Boxers, for watching this video. We hope you really enjoy the new BuildBox 3.